everyone. I'm Christine Tully, President and Executive Writing Coach at Defend and Publish. Welcome to Episode 72, Four Ways Defend and Publish Can Support Your Summer Writing. I wanted to walk through a couple of ways that we can get involved with your summer writing if you need assistance, um, some of which you may be aware of, but others might be new to you. And I'm going to start with talking about some of our events that we're offering this summer and where you can actually find those events. So the first place that I recommend people find our events is on Eventbrite. I just shared a screen for those of you that are just listening to the podcast. And if you go to Eventbrite and Defend and Publish, you can see all the events that we're offering at the moment. Um, some of the ones that are showing that are upcoming right now. Uh, we do have a talk from Jim Lang, who will be coming on May 18th. This episode will be released right before that, so you'll still be able to grab a couple seats for him. Jim is the author of Distracted and Small Teaching, so we're very fortunate that he's coming to do a workshop with us on some public scholarship. And then we have several other workshops happening this summer, um, one of which is transitioning from a dissertation writer to a faculty writer, so that would be perfect for um, those who are in new jobs. And then we have a couple of other workshops along those lines that are just um, single one-time only workshops. In addition to those, we, offer, we also offer boost workshops where these are weekly meetings on a topic just for one month. So we didn't offer one in May, but in April, we did one on planning your summer writing. And if you're still interested in that, since it's still um, towards the end of May at the time that this episode will be released, and if you would like those recordings, just email me at Christine, C-H-R-I-S-T-I-N-E, at defendandpublish.com. And if you want to purchase those recordings and the templates, you can still get them, even though the boost is not running. So I encourage you to check out our events on Eventbrite. We have new ones up all the time. Um, we tend to keep these fairly low cost for faculty, and we do provide receipts for those of you that need um, faculty development or have um, development funding from your universities as graduate students. So that's the first way that we can help support your writing. A second way that we can help support your writing, and I will stop sharing there, is to do some individual writing coaching with us. So one of our episodes titled, Why Do You Need a Writing Coach? If you wanna check that episode out, I will link to it in the show notes. We do talk about what coaching can do for you. Um, but I want to throw out a couple things with coaching that you may or may not be aware of, um, because we tend to think of writing coaches as doing very specific things. We tend to think of them as doing editing or revising for us or making comments on our drafts. And certainly we do all that, but there's lots of other ways that coaches can help. Um, they certainly can do accountability calls for you. So if you want somebody to just do a weekly check-in, um, they can just spend 15 minutes with you of a week and you can stretch out a good bit of hourly coaching in that way if you're just using 15 minutes at a time for a weekly check-in to stay on track. And we have lots of clients doing that. Another way we can use coaching is if you and a partner want to do some group coaching together or you and a collaborative writing team want to work together. Those of you that are interested in doing collaborations, and we will have an upcoming episode on that that you'll be able to check out um, with further tips. But if you check out some of the, um, the tips that are out there on collaborative writing on some of our previous podcasts, I'll put some of those in the show notes, um, you'll find that sometimes collaborations don't go well <laughs> because you know somebody has uh, different expectations than someone else and it's not clear who's in charge of the collaborative writing or you haven't worked out all the other pieces first as you know for example who's going to be the first author who's going to be in charge of sending out all the group communications and so on but it's one of those things that we do with writing coaching. We can even coach a collaborative team and work through some of those issues with your group. And sometimes this helps because coming to us is more of a neutral party that's concerned about getting the writing completed. Uh, we can do a lot to help on that front. So we do have some collaborative groups that come to us. And so check that out if that's something you're interested in. We also can do workshops or have do some coaching with any faculty writing groups that you're running um, during the summer. Either you're in charge of a very informal group, it's just you and a couple of graduate students. Um, if you want, you can have one of us come in and do some talking about some strategies with you in a very informal kind of way. 
um, tenure track faculty. We do this a lot for new faculty. Find a couple of new faculties, all new faculty members also on the tenure track. Um, have us come in. We'll do some coaching with you as well. So coaching doesn't always have to be writing in that kind of a sense. Um, we also can help with revise and resubmits. So if you submitted an article for publication and need some help interpreting the feedback, that's another thing that we can do, even though we're not writing per se, we can walk you through what we think might be going on with some of that feedback. And the same goes for dissertation advising. So that can be another way that you can use um, coaching in a sort of non-coaching kind of way. If you wanna to talk to me about those possibilities, you can certainly email me. Again, it's just christine at defendandpublish.com. Another way that you can get involved with working with us is to set up a project management system in a one-time um, coaching call. So if this is something where you're just really struggling to get any kind of a writing system going or a plan, a semester plan for writing, we can be really useful on that front where you're not interested maybe in having us coach you with your writing, but you're used to or you're needing some help with time management and projects set up. So if that's something that you're interested in, we do a lot of building um, project management charts, both in Asana, but also in other things like Excel or Google Docs or Word or whatever you need. And we can set them up to be specific for you. So for those of you, for example, working on a dissertation, this might be helpful to have someone else set up what they think a plan of using writing time might look like, and that could be something you can tweak and use. So we have lots of clients that come to us for these sort of one shot, one time only projects. And you know maybe they'll come back in another year or two when they need a tweak, but we do do that. So that's something else um, that can be helpful. And then finally, um, one of the bonuses, if you work with us on any front, you come to one of our workshops um, on Eventbrite, you do any kind of writing coaching, um, we offer a free Wednesday writing group boost. It's every Wednesday morning, um, 9.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, generally till 11.30 or 12.30 EST. And this is just an open Zoom room where I run it. I'm there to facilitate it um, or another writing coach will be there. And people come in, they log in, they drop a goal in the chat and then they get to work. And we write with our cameras on, but our sound off. And that way you're able to, you know, just look up and see everybody else writing all around you. Um, we do support each other. You can still message me or ask me some questions in the chat, but in general, it's a way to log in and be accountable. I will drop these meetings on your schedule if that's something that you're interested in, but it's a pretty popular feature of our Defend and Publish community. So if that's something that you're interested in doing and getting support, um, that's something that we can do for you. So hopefully these give you a few more options for using any kind of our services. And again, if you're interested in checking in with me, um, just email me at christine at defendandpublish.com and I'd be happy to talk a little bit more. Happy writing. Mm -hmm.